Now, on this one, they're saying solve for y. Ladies and gentlemen, to solve for y, they mean, they mean they're asking us to isolate the variable, right? Isolate the variable. What does y equal? Now, if we want to have y equal to something, Anthony, can y be in the denominator? No. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get y off the denominator. So to get that off the denominator, I'm going to multiply by y plus 3 on both sides. OK? The reason why I do that? Because that divides to 1 using the different, uh, di difference property. Now I have a y. So now I have y plus 3 times x equals y minus 2. Now, again, we're trying to solve for y. Can you solve for y when there's a y on the left side and y on the right side? No, right? Um, and plus, this y is being multiplied by the x. So what I'm going to do is first get rid of these parentheses, and then I'm going to apply the distributive property, and then I'm going to get the y's on the same side. doesn't matter if it's the left side or the right side. But let's see what happens. So I get yx plus 3x equals y minus 2. Let's get the y's on the same side. Um, in this case, I'll solve on the left side. So I'll subtract a y, subtract a y. yx plus 3x minus y equals negative 2. Get rid of this 3x. yx minus y equals negative 2 minus 3x. Have I solved for y yet? I have two of them, though, right? And but the problem is they're not like terms, so you can't subtract them. Right? You can't subtract them. They're not like terms. One is not quadratic. You can't like factor it or do anything. The only thing, you, well, you can't factor using quadratic methods, but we can factor it. Right? Don't you, wouldn't you agree that both of these express, both of these terms share a y? So you can factor out the y. When you factor out the y, you're left with x minus 1 equals negative 2 minus 3x. Right? And then my y, you need to undo what's happening to y. My y is being divided by x minus 1. That's it.